All right, hey, whether we live or whether we die, it's to the, it's to Yahweh Shai. All right. All right. That's all we do. We live. We, we only living for 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 Yahweh Shai. That's it. We're not living for ourselves. The Lord told us, He, any any, if any of you will come to be my disciple, let him deny himself, that he may follow me. All right. That means what? You got to deny your your your, uh, your old uh, 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 lust, your pleasures, your old aspirations, the things that you were seeking in, in this world. You got to leave that off, man. It's no longer about you. The world is a, is about teaching people that hey, it's all about you. You know, you got to portray. You got to pursue your hey, dreams. Uh, special change. Nah, man, this, this is spiritual money right here. This ain't a, this ain't about you, man. And even Yahweh Shai, man, even when he came down, he wasn't about himself. Okay. You know, he said, "My, my doctrine is not mine, but okay. him, but him who sent me." Okay. Okay. And this if, if, if I seek, if, 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 I, if, if I seek my own glory, okay. Okay. then I speak of myself. You know, but he didn't. He he, he wasn't doing that. Right. You know. First Corinthians chapter nine, uh, verse sixteen and seventeen, I believe it says, uh, "For though I preach the gospel, I have nothing to glory of, for necessity is laid upon me." Yay. Yeah, I have needs. I got I got carnal needs. I need food. You know. I would like to have some yayan, you know. I gotta make sure I feed my my, my, my horse, make, make sure my horses or my camels or whatever that I use to travel. I, I I gotta make sure that they they're good, so I can travel to do the mission to to serve you. Okay. And the heavenly Father, He's gonna give us that stuff, and He's gonna give you that yeah. anyway. Yeah. Seek 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 ye the kingdom, and all these things will be added unto you. Okay. And plus, Apostle Paul, as he was doing the work, you had certain churches that was actually communicating with him and checking with him, like, are you are you good on this? Are you good on that? You know, you had, you had uh, helps, and he and he actually uh, uh, gave them praises for it. But then you also, the church in Corinth, there was niggards. They felt like they shouldn't have to, you know, uh, 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 give give the, la the, the, uh, the laborer his worthy uh, reward, which but which really. He wasn't seeking glory from it. He wasn't seeking to be, you know, uh, uh, glorified. He was just saying, hey, as much as I put, you know, do this labor, because he was diligent, so unlike you niggas. Well, said, he was he being said. diligent, but all he was like, hey, I am, uh, whatever people give to me, and, and uh, because I'm doing this work, hey, I'm worthy of that. Read right quick in verse 11, same chapter. Yep. It says, if I have sown unto you spiritual things, is it not a great thing? If we shall reap the carnal things, huh? I don't deserve for all the things that I'm giving you, building you up spiritually. I think it, you know, a little help. Get some alms. Yeah, some necessity. Yeah, you know, show a little mercy to me. You know, at, at, at the end of the day, I'm, I'm in, I'm in constant perils doing this ministry. I'm in, I'm in danger of, of, of you know, uh, uh, my own, my own people, my own countrymen. I'm in perils of, 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 of the heathen. You know, I'm, I get shipwrecked. You know, Satan is after me. Hey, bro, it really, and it shows you how bad it was too, because really he shouldn't even have to have said that. You know, because really, when even when brothers come from different cities to different camps, brothers automatically ask. It's just a thing, you know. Yeah. Hey, hey, bro, you, you good? good? Yeah. You know. So for them not even to ask that, you know, which he had to say that, that shows you how how horrible it was. Right, but see. Apostle Paul didn't he he didn't he didn't say well we, because I'm not you know I'm not balling out of control. Kind. I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna make merchandise. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, uh, I'm gonna make the Lord's uh, 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 house a house of merchandise. You know. I'm gonna use the word of the Lord deceitfully so I can gain followers so I can make all this money. He didn't he didn't do that man. He was cussing people out for that man.
he basically told the church, hey man, we 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 uh we denounced the hidden things of dishonesty. We're not we're we're not uh doing this, I'm not doing this word uh uh uh, uh out of out of dishonesty, man. I'm not handling the word of the Lord deceitfully. You know? Says, uh, I'm starting at the top of 16 again. It says, For though I preach the gospel, I have nothing to glory of, for necessity is laid upon me. Yea, woe is unto me if I preach not the gospel. Uh -huh. For if I do this thing willingly, I have a reward. But if against my will, a dispensation of the gospel is committed unto me. Read that again. Second part. The first, the whole thing. Yeah. For though I preach the gospel, I have nothing to glory of. For necessity yeah, is because laid upon why? me. Why? Because you in debt. Yeah. You in debt. You you owe this to the Lord. And plus, Apostle Paul, he understood that hey, I was I was persecuting the church before yeah, yeah. before the Lord uh, uh, woke me up and converted me. He knew his offenses. Yeah. You know? I was man. Can I, I, got can I bring this out, bro? Well, it's pass, pass. Uh, Matthew 6 and uh, 12 and the word the word debtors yep. it's Matthew chapter 6 looking up the word okay. 10, 6 and 12 okay. it's Matthew chapter 6 verse 12 and and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Kai, it was it was the the, it's the, the word, word, dead, the word right? debtors, which is uh, that same word he said, right? Kind. Yeah. Oh, how do you say that word? You just read it. <laughs> it's, it's 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 like that word, but it's um it's kind of different. Yeah. Uh, I don't know how to say it. It's probably the word right below, like G. Yeah, kind. Or, or right above it too. Oh, oh, oh. Ophiolitis. 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 Yeah. Right, it says, um, which was uh, G3782, uh, it says, one who owes another a debtor, mm -hmm. one held by some obligation, bound by some duty, uh -huh. one who has not yet made amends to whom he has injured. And that's in our law. You, when you when you uh, uh, owe somebody, you gotta pay what you owe, what, what you what you took from them. You gotta return seven four. Yep. But, but, but how you injured or hurt somebody, that that same thing has to happen to you. Eye for eye, tooth for tooth, life for life, strike for strike. You know, it says, uh, one who owes the Most High penalty, or whom God, you know, the Most High can demand punishment as some as, some, as something due, i.e., a sinner. Which we we are owed death, and we're trying to repay uh, the debt of sin, the debt of death, off of us, man. And really, the, the elect yeah. owe death also. But guess what? Their, their sins will be wiped away because of their faith that the works that they did will, will cover them in the time of uh, uh, trying trying of the flesh. Yeah, man. I mean, uh, our sins was paid for by the precious blood of. of, of the only begotten son of the most high, the, man. The elect. Let's, yeah. let's be clear about who makes it. Kind. The elect. Which it falls on the, on the rest of his, yeah, bro. Yeah, but for the elect it. first. Right. Yeah. But I'm saying escape it from the, the, you know the how, second death. You know how precious and valuable that blood was, man? Right. The only man on the earth that did, like, no sin. Yeah. None. He walked perfect, man. You know? He drank in a cup and wasn't supposed to, in, in, in a sense. Kind. You know? You should be, hey, we in debt forever to him, man. Yeah. You know? Yeah, that was, uh, I don't know if that was. Yeah, that was, that was pretty much it on this. I was trying to find an account where Apostle Paul was saying, like, hey, I, I did this to the church, I did yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. basically, I'm not worthy to be uh, glory. Yeah, yeah. In the Acts. I'm trying to think what book that was. Uh, but he laid it all out there, what he did.
Galatians, yeah. maybe? Yeah. Galatians 1, maybe? Yeah, it sounds like something right here. He's the one with the pistol to the church. So he, Apostle Paul, he just knew like, if the Lord gonna forgive me after I just consented to a murder of a man of the Lord, then I know if the Lord is really choosing me and converting me, and He chose me to do this thing, I know I'm de I'm, I'm hella in debt. That's why Apostle Paul went so freaking hard, man. That's why he was encouraging diligence, cause he was he was on super fire, man. You know. If you knew you was wicked in the world and the Lord actually gave you a chance, how much more should you show your loyalty, man? Hey, I hate to use this analogy, but it, it kind of fits. Like, for example, the nigga Tupac, why you think that nigga went so hard grinding and putting all those tracks out? Why it was so much... It was so much material that it was more albums that came out after his death than before he even died, when he was alive. Because he felt that when Suge and them bailed him out of, uh, out of the penitentiary, which really he sold, he sold his soul when he did that, but he felt like he owed his loyalty so much to death row that immediately when he got out, this nigga did so much work. They that said he ate and went to the studio. That's all he did. He said he really didn't have his own crib Eight. that he stayed yeah. at. Just always goes to go studio to studio. You know, he had houses, yeah, but, but he put his family in them and he didn't even dwell in, in them houses. They he, say he did that all eyes on me in two weeks. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 24 master tracks. Yeah. You know? That shit was tight. Yeah. You know, back in the day. Yeah, it was okay. He put all that labor in because he was loyal to, to Death Row for getting him out of his situation. You know, and <laughs> Death Row shot to the, to the top. Well, it was already on, up on top. But it shot on another level when 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 Puck shit was coming out. He did that out of loyalty to his uh, his, his label. That's why he was you know he he uh, he running with Suge Knight, you know. He got behind uh, Suge and in, in, in his posse or whatever, you know. Showing his loyalty to a a, a, a fucking street gang when that that definitely wasn't him, you know. But just to get the idea of that. Hey, how much loyalty should you be showing towards the, uh, the Lord for, for, uh, for, for giving you a your debt and, and freeing you of, of your iniquities, man? The Lord could have just bound you to your iniquity and we all could have been destroyed. You know? So you ain't really got no time to boast and glory in nothing, man. But guess what? The Lord is so kind and merciful that he's still going to give you glory, man. You know? He's still going to give you the glory, but you got to do it Hey, you gotta make sure you do it all. Make it to the finish line first. Make it to that finish line first. Uh, and it's gonna be hard too. It's gonna be real hard to get to that finish line. Hey, and, and you think about Paul had the hardest job. He had to go amongst the other nations yeah. to sift out the Jakes in there. Yeah. How hard is that? You're going to you're going to go preach a, a doctrine to the to basically to the heathen. You don't know who's gonna receive. It. But what you do know is that there's some Israelites in there that will receive it through your faith. You believe that, but but imagine him walking through with this message about about how glorified the Israelites are going to be through your how through your how shy. But you telling people that look like Edomites. yeah, that look like Esau and, and whoever yeah. else. No, I got the first Galatians one thirteen. Yeah, I got the Galatians chapter one verse thirteen. For ye have heard of my conversation in time past in the Jews' religion, uh, how that beyond measure I persecuted the church of the Most High and wasted it. I profited in the Jews' religion above many my equals in mine own nation, being more exceeding zealous of the traditions of my fathers. But when it pleased the Most High, who separated me from my, from my mother's womb and called me by his grace, like to reveal his son in me that I might preach him among the heathen immediately I confer not with flesh and blood neither went I up to Jerusalem to them that were apostles before me but I went to Arabia 
and returned again uh, to Damascus. That's going. That's when he was going amongst the heathen nations, the Gentiles, the Gentiles, the Israelite foreigners. He says, uh, then after three years, I went up to Jerusalem to see Peter, and abode with him fifteen days. But other the but it's another one, right? Yeah. yeah the, the, the list is there. But this referring to that, but, but, but not the whole. We talking about the oh, whole Second list. Corinthians eleven. Yeah, yeah. Second Corinthians. Yeah, it had to. Well, why would we figure that out? <laughs> so talk to the niggas. It's, it's the nigga church, so you know. Yeah. Eleven. Second Corinthians eleven chapter. Uh, it's at the end. It's at the middle end of it. Yeah, uh, uh, eleven and um. Start at seven. Verse seven. So I'm sorry, I'm the first one. Second Corinthians. Eleven. Start verse what? Eleven. Start verse seven. Seven. Yeah. yeah I have committed an offense in the basin of my. This is Second Corinthians eleven and seven. Have I committed an offense in abasing myself that ye, you might be exalted? Because I have preached to you. It's lucky. The, that's, no, that's not it, huh? That's not it. That's not it. That's not it. That's not it. <laughs> It was basically he was going into a account of all of yeah, uh, the, the, all the, the things yeah, that he did. Yeah, it was you know? a list. I don't know yeah. if it was like Timothy or something like one of those, but it was a list. I know. I remember seeing. Well, maybe that was. Yeah. Oops. And then. Uh, and he was basically saying like this, is, and these are the reasons why I can't boast. Yeah. You know, I can't. I can't glorify. You know. I can't glorify myself. I'm not even worthy of this uh, this office that the Lord gave to me. Um, no, it's a list, bro. It's a list. It's not the one where you like uh, suffer shipwreck. And oh, oh, First Corinthians 15. That's the one. Sure. I'm just doing. I'm just going on. This <laughs> one. But I think. I think that might be it. I think that might be it. See the list first, one, it's not. All the, all the tribulation that he hit. Wait. That's not, that's not that. One. Not all. Yeah, first not, Corinthians. Uh, we can read that though. Yeah, just, just get it. Food. What happened? Spiritual money. Yeah. He smelled like food. That was Satan. That was Satan. That was Satan. Yeah, y'all got any food. Really? Got a mouthful too. Yeah, that was that was Satan, bro. And the demons, man. <laughs> he didn't even know that demon's on there. Damn. Um, yeah, just get that in uh, 1 Corinthians 15. 1 Corinthians 15 and 9. Yeah. For I am the least of the apostles that am not me to be called an apostle, because I persecuted the church of the Most High. But by the grace of the Most High, I am, I am what I am, and His grace, which was bestowed upon me, was not in vain, but I labored more abundantly than they all, yet not I, but the grace of the Most High, which was with me. Yeah, the Lord gave him grace. You know, the Lord ended up humbling his ass down. And from that moment on, you know, he was one of the, the chosen from the, before the foundation of the world. You know, it was meant for him to, to you know, be uh, seek, uh, chosen for the mission, you know? And that meant a lot to Apostle Paul. That's why he took it so serious, and that's why he was so diligent, man. Yeah, you know? this, this is the Second Corinthians 11. That's where we see that. Second, second yeah, Corinthians see. 11, yep. Start up at verse... Uh, 27. No, no, no. Um, wait, wait, uh, uh, well, those are the things that he was in danger of, right? Right, right, right. But, but at the end of it, well, we, we go straight to the point, which was... Um, it goes into the things that he did, that he did, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Weariness is the stuff that he had to go through with the ministry. Um, I, I'm, I'm holding it. Go ahead, go ahead. Second uh, Corinthians 11. Uh, I'm gonna start at 28 just because you know, 
So besides those things... And this is what he had to actually go through because he put so much hell on the church. Okay. Yeah. The most I put hell on him. Can okay. we read the whole list? You're, you ain't got to. Okay. Uh, if you want to, I can we, 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 we can close out too. I can run through it. It says, uh, verse uh, 23, it says, Are they ministers of Yahweh Shai? I speak as a fool. I am more in labors more abundant, in stripes above measure, in prisons more frequent, in deaths oft, or often, right? It says, um, of the Jews, five times received I forty stripes, save one. Thrice I was beaten with rods, once was I stoned, thrice I suffered shipwreck, a night and a day I have been in, in the deep, in journeyings often, in perils of water, in perils of robbers, in perils by mine own countrymen, in perils by the heathen, in perils in the city, because he had to travel so much, he ran through all these different types of people, came across all these types of people. Demons. In perils in the wilderness, in perils in the sea, in perils among false brethren, in weariness and painfulness, in watchings often, in hunger and in and thirst, in fastings often, and cold and nakedness, some of those fastings was not by choice, you know. Besides those things uh, that are without, that which come upon me daily, the care of all the churches. Who is weak, I am, I am, well, sorry, I am not weak. Who is offended, and I burn not. If, if I, verse 30, if I must needs glory, I will glory of the things which concern my infirmities, the weaknesses, <coughs> the weaknesses that he had to go through because of what he went through leading into this. And I think that connects to the ones we did read. Right, it says, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, the father power, hey, the most I had to put hell on Paul because of how much hell he was putting on his servants, man. He, he consented to Stephen dying, man. Yeah. You know? He but Apostle Paul, he was doing it sincere. He was since he was sincere, but he was sincerely wrong. Yeah. He thought that he was doing a most high service. Yeah. But hey, that you know, yeah. that was his lot. But then the Lord ended up uh, converting him. Okay. Why are you kicking against the pricks, Paul? Why okay. why persecutors down me? Yeah. So from then on, he was so like, oh shit, yeah. I was going against uh, the Lord. I and thought that, I was doing the work of the Lord, I was going against the Lord's son. And that shows you the power of the Lord, the spirit of the Lord. How it, it could be on you, you can have it, and you can't have it. Because how the Most High uh, converted uh, converted Paul. Yep. He was a man of the Lord, but he wasn't doing the right things. He wasn't the right spirit. Doing the right spirit. Yep. Yep. So just like, and just yep. like that, he knocked off that horse. He was humbled. He was blinded. Yep. He went, you know, was led to the next city, and you know, he received his sight back, and he, he was he was fully converted, persuaded in his own mind. <laughs> That's right, man. That's why he, you know, he he held this ministry to such a high regard. It meant so much to him that he was willing to die for it, man. You know, he was so diligent. He wanted to make sure everybody in the church was being built up. You know, okay. he knew that he owed that to the Lord. So how much more are we? Yeah. All right. So anyway, you know that that's. That's pretty much it. Right, Day of Atonement. You know, Day of Atonement is officially over. And Lord willing, you brothers had a, a, a very blessed and solemn uh, Yawam uh, Kapar, man. You know, and the Lord, you know, may Yahweh Shai have mercy on us all and that we all make it on the, on the chariot, man. Right. That we all endure to the end, receiving the end of our salvation. May He bless us and increase uh, with positivity our weaknesses, man. That's right. That's, That's right. right. That's right, so with that, we're going to give all praise, glory, and honor to you. Yeah. By Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Kakadash. We're going to the honor of apostles. A great millstone piece of blessings to the elect. We're going to say Shalom. Shalom.